document db or dynamo db which one should you choose hey guys my name is rahul aire and i'm from pune so in this today's video we are just going to really discuss about what is the difference between the both of which the both of the database and which one should you choose so in just one line answer in a no brain no brainers uh, kind of term if we really compare the document db and the dynamo db the document db is like instance based and the dynamo db is like a serverless no sql database uh, and both are the no sql as well so it's like comparing the ec2 versus uh, serverless or aws lambda and, and and that kind of thing so essentially when you really kind of get uh, into the serverless concept you really know what are the advantages of it so if you are really new to this uh, concept of serverless uh, what it what it does it mean if you don't know just uh, consider uh, searching that term uh, firstly and then come back to this video so till then let's let's continue with our own topic so what i was really telling that the uh, uh, document db is document db or aws no sql database which is mongodb compatible uh, now what do i really mean by that so essentially like if you have really just uh, have worked with a mongodb as well and have a fairly decent experience with using all those uh, orm like mongoose etc and all that kind of thing so what you will essentially uh, notice is like that aws like listening to that customers they have really made their own version of instance based no sql database which is really kind of really similar to the uh, Mong like mongodb but it's more enhanced and more like more featureful thing like that uh, yeah and so what it has kind of thing is like you really need to maintain your own server you really need to just go on and just try to uh, manage your own thing and the document db is something like serverless no sql database where you have no worry about like managing the instance have uh, keeping someone to uh, keeping someone's watch to really just look up and and the dynamo db is something like no uh, serverless no sql database solution the what actually main purpose is like to uh, you don't really need to manage everything just like in the serverless solution in uh, serverless computing like in the world like you don't need to uh, choose the ram you don't need to choose the operating system you don't need to choose your cpu instance you just kind of really input your function and just run seamlessly uh, similarly dynamo db is pretty much similar to it like you don't need to worry about uh, the sizing constraint you don't need to worry about uh, any uh, anything that really uh, deal with a traditional database it just really works on uh, pay as you use like it only cost you when you just uh, trigger a function to it and the, what's the major major difference between uh, both of them is like uh, the doc the document db is like a fixed priced database solution and so if you have really confident in your uh, enterprise or startup like this is the kind of data that we are going to use then at that case is like uh, the document db is really an essential thing because uh, what i have really observed is like the document db is cheaper than compared to uh, dynamo db and we will come to that point later words uh, and the, and the downside of it is like uh, you have to manage your own servers you have to really just kind of uh, take care of backups and all that kind of thing and you can't really uh, and you have to always keep an eye whether the, or whether uh, the cpu capacity is always going to getting full or not whether at what time should you really uh, uh, horizontally scale or what kind of uh, at when time you should add the more ram more cpu and all that kind of thing so it is really a complicated thing uh, as like in in in, in every uh, instance based approach especially in the counterpart of uh, doc document db dynamo db being a serverless uh, no sql database it has no some sort of maintenance and nothing kind of thing you don't need to worry about its maintenance you don't need to just look up when it is getting full when it is getting not it's all that kind of tech all that kind of things are 
really handled by the AWS itself. So you just really kind of uh, focus on your own code and project work and it, and it really saves a lot of time. And it is especially really beneficial that uh, on the trial basis when you really don't know uh, when you are just getting if you are really getting newly started out and you don't know like uh, how much people will really interact on my product and how much uh, CPU and cost it will uh, I really use and, and and that situation if you really want to just try and test it out then in my opinion DynamoDB is super cheap you can just try to go on on that kind of thing if you have a terabytes of data when that kind of thing probably you might be an enterprise and that uh, in that case the document db is more suitable for you so and the most advantage the major advantage is like uh, on the dynamo db is like you can replicate your data in multiple regions across there uh, what do you mean by that so as you know that the AWS has its reach, has its various data centers all over the world. It has a freaking ton of uh, like gigantic data centers all over the continent, like every major country and all that kind of thing. So essentially what they have really done is they have provided a solution uh, in, a docu in the DynamoDB where you can replicate your data in uh, multiple storage across all the data centers across uh, in the various continents out there so in that kind in that case you can really sh uh, assure that your data is fully secure and and it won't get mismanaged similarly uh, you can't do that in the document db and if you were something like if you have really want a super fast data spreading then dynamodb is best for you but you know it really seems that the dynamo db is kind of really a fair thing right but not in the world is like sunshine in clear sky with the rainbows out there everything has its own downfall so being so flexible dynamo db has its own downfall that the partition size is so less that uh, you really need to uh, kind of it is something around 4 kb I think I guess I'm not sure by the way and you essentially lose the uh, like complex query which uh, we really have uh, in the document DB as well and one thing up uh, one thing I really just uh, kind of uh, forgot to tell you that being a bare instance document DB has the power like this is the instance just go and do whatever you want and you can just go on and design the complex queries and just do everything bunch of uh, like like freaking complex queries, uh, tons of calculations, structuring the queries and all that kind of thing. But but being so flexible in DynamoDB, uh, the partition size is not that great and being like flexible enough, you really lose the kind of essentiality. You have to really compromise on the complex query thing and all that kind of stuff. So. So this was it really guys and I just want to show up the pricing structure right here. So this is the price for the document DB as well. So it's just if you really want to go on the document DB as well. It just starts around 10 cents per GB every month. And the request cost is around 0.20 dollars or 20 cents per million request every month. And the backup cost is around 0.021 dollar per GB every month so it's fairly cheap enough and for the uh, more pricing detail you uh, you can also go on to the AWS site the link is always in the description you can check it out check that out and what essentially the thing is uh, in the Dynamo DB uh, the pricing structure is kind of weird I think uh, it is really based on the number of requests that you made to the server uh, the right the writing cost is around $1.25 per million uh, per million writes that you do on the hard disk and if you want to read, read that data that cost is around uh, 25 cents per million request every month the storage cost goes around uh, $0.25 every uh, per GB every month providing that the first 25 GB is absolutely free of cost so that is the plus point so if you are just getting started out and if you are just testing your products, this is the best solution for you. And the backup cost is around uh, $0.25 per GB every month out there. So 
and this was it guys what i want to share about like uh, how it is and how it's not that out so if you want to just see a detailed video of it by uh, officially made by amazon aws uh, then the link is in the description uh, which you can see go to that go to that twitch channel and watch the video where they go in the really depth of it and they compare uh dynamo db versus the document db and which one should you really buy out so i hope dear that you have really liked this video consider subscribing to this channel if you have questions queries comments just leave down in this uh, comment section i'll be happy to get back to you and also make sure to follow me on social media profile links are always in the description and in the end screen as well so till then see you next time and have a great day